Today, we're going back to my first time at the German versus Japanese car meet. Welcome to Sports and Touring, and yes, we are still on lockdown, so that's as far as the car is going today. But as I said in the last video, we have a ton of footage that we've collected over the last year that we never had time to edit and share with you. Today, we're going back to my first time at the German versus Japanese car meet, an absolutely incredible car meet with some of the best examples of German and Japanese modified cars. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll have seen the German versus Japanese car meet feature on an earlier video. That was their first meet of this year, and it was the biggest one they'd ever had with over 2,000 cars. Today, we're going back to my first time there where they had about 400 to 500 cars and on the same day I was actually met with a little surprise with an opportunity to also go to the Denby's car show where there were some amazing supercars. Now the German versus Japanese is one of my favorite car meets it's so friendly such a great bunch of people and the quality of the cars is incredible whether they're German or Japanese and while we're on the subject of Japanese cars I just want to give a big shout out to exclusive JDM. Exclusive JDM is an invitation only car club they do a lot of work to build community and pull together the rarest and best modified Japanese these cars in the UK and take them along to all of the major UK car shows so that you get to enjoy them all together. And as it happens, they're offering discounts to all of their merchandise to sports and touring subscribers. 15% off for the first five of you that make a purchase and 10% off for everyone thereafter. I really love what they do to pull together all of these amazing cars so they can be all parked in one place at all the major car shows. So make sure you give them your support, links and discount codes all in the description below. Now let's go and see what happened when I first went to German versus Japanese and ended up at a supercar event at Denby. One of the best things about this meet, I have to say, is just how distinguished all the cars are. Each one is just representing the personality of the owner. They've just invested their time, their energy, their money building these cars to be exactly what they want them to be. Whether the car is to your taste or not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's representing and expressing the individual and you've got to respect that. Just look at the workmanship that's gone into building this car. Whether you like it or not, it doesn't really matter. It is an absolutely awesome piece of work. An individual has just put themselves into the car. It's kind of an art form really, just expressing themselves. So right here we've got a Audi R8 V10 Plus. Love these cars, absolutely love them. Love the details on them, all the carbon. I was just chatting to the owner. He said he had it a few months and uh, he's thinking about modifying it. Um, but, um, you know, I just had a look around the car. Really, really nice. I actually think I want one of these. I really, really want one of these. So I just found this Honda NSX. Wow, what a stunning piece. And of course, it's in my favorite colors, the uh, black and the white. I haven't seen too many of these in person. I think this is maybe the second one I've seen. And uh, to see it at a car meet is really, really cool. It's really nice to see people spending their money on their cars and bringing them out to events, actually driving them, enjoying them. Uh, absolutely stunning, stunning looking car. So this Evo here is so clean, unbelievably clean. In fact, when I say clean, I mean really clean. Even underneath it's clean. They are so proud of how clean it is underneath. They have got a mirror showcasing how shiny and dirt free the whole thing is. It's unbelievably beautifully prepared. And I'm pretty sure that this won the uh, cleanest car of the show. Uh, and if so, it really, really did deserve it. Absolutely stunning. 
Hi, and I'm at the German vs. Jap monthly meet. Uh, it's a breakfast meet, and I'm here with the organizer, Stephanie. Hello. Uh, who is an absolute car nut. Um, <laughs> she told me about today, last night, when uh, she organized another meet with a bunch of Zeds. She's got an awesome 350Z, absolutely <laughs> sick, sounds awesome, looks awesome. We went on, uh, a group of us went on a drive, and she said, oh, why don't you come to my meet in the morning? And so I came here for breakfast. So I just wanted to know, Steph, like, this meet is massive. There's loads of people. How many cars do you normally get here? So we get about 350 cars, which is full capacity. And that's how many spaces the car park can hold. So, yeah, we reached that within about 15 minutes of it starting. So it's pretty popular. We probably need to look for a bigger venue now. I'd say so. I got here, like, just literally 10 minutes after the start time, and there was one space left, and I grabbed it. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> yes. H how long has it been running? Um, so we started them in June 2018. Um, we've since moved events a few times just because we've outgrown them so yep this has uh, been running uh, about a year now it's so over so you've gone from zero to 350 cars capacity turning people away yeah in one year yeah you must be like some kind of marketing genius or something <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe I should go into that yeah. so what inspired you to start the event um, I just love cars yeah. yeah and German versus Jap is yeah I love German cars and Jap cars so it's yeah kind of made sense to do that yeah that makes yeah. sense I really really like your 350 by the way thank you it's very very cool <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, check out the German versus Jap car meets. Find them on Facebook. Uh, they're in Surrey. Uh, and um, it's worth coming to. I came all the way from Hertfordshire down here today. It took me about an hour, but it was well worth it. Some of the cars, as you will have seen already, are absolutely epic. So, Stephanie, thank you so much for letting me know about no this worries. event. And having me down. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. <laughs>so I just uh, bumped into this guy here, Stephen. He's got an absolutely epic looking black GTR. How much horsepower are you saying? 666. 666, <laughs> mark of the beast. And it's a beast, isn't it? It is a beast. Yeah, he just gave it a little rev and he was like, oh yeah, it spits flames. And I was like, he said, if you want to wait around, and I was like, mm, okay, I'll wait. <laughs> um, but what, what does the, the, it's mainly a tune and a straight through pipe, It's basically yeah? just a map, it's got a tune, new, in, uh, new filters, straight through exhaust, so yeah. Yeah, we're done by Night Racer. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely nuts. Absolutely thank nuts. You, thank you. I think it's just burnt my eyebrows off. <laughs> <laughs>